Time for some examples. Here we have a path from A to B and then to C. You can also show this by putting arrow marks on this line itself. And so somebody is traveling from A and he is reaching C. And we now need to find out the distance and the displacement. Let's write those. So what is distance? It is the length of the actual path traveled. So whoever is moving, he is moving from A to B first and then from B to C. So distance will be equal to AB plus BC and that will be equal to 3 meter plus 4 meter that gives you 7 meter. Let's now calculate the displacement. What is the displacement? By definition, displacement is equal to the shortest path between the initial and final points. So the initial point is A and the final point is C and we know that the shortest distance is the straight line distance. So we just join them from A to C and so the displacement will be this length of this hypotenuse of the right angle triangle and so we have 3 squared plus 4 squared under root meter and that gives us 5 meter. But wait, displacement is a vector quantity so you must mention the direction. So displacement is equal to 5 meter from A to C. Here is another example. This time the object is moving from A to B then from B to taking this, this stair sort of path to C and then from C to D and we need to find out the distance as well as the displacement. Once again distance is equal to the total path length and that is equal to AB plus BC plus CD and you can see that AB is given to be 4 meter. Now from B to C you go 1 meter up and 4 meter forward so that is 5 meters and from C to D you move 2 more meters and that gives us 5 to 7, 11 meters. Now let's calculate the displacement. For displacement once again we need to find out the shortest distance. So what is the initial point? A and what is the final point? D. So we join them here and we need to find out this length. If we extend this backwards and this line forward we see that there is a right angle triangle being formed here once again like in the previous example. So we have the total horizontal distance as 8 and this vertical distance as 2 meter and 1 meter that is 3. So using the Pythagoras theorem once again we have displacement equal to 8 squared plus 3 squared under root and that gives us under root 73 meters. One thing that you should note is in all of our examples that we have taken so far thing that stands out and it is that distance is always greater than or equal to displacement. So please remember this rule distance will always come out to be equal to the displacement or greater than that. The case of equal to is when the motion is on a straight line in the same direction. Alright, so we have a circular path of radius let's say 1 meter and an object is moving on this circular path from A back to A. So we need to find the distance and displacement. Once again we start with the distance. So for a complete circle the total path length is the circumference and that is 2 pi r and so it gives us 2 pi into 1 meter that is 2 pi meter and for displacement because the initial and final points are the same. Let's have an arc of a circle. 
and we have a circular arc like this making an angle 90 degree or pi by 2 here and let's take the radius to be 1 meter so what is the distance here so you need to remember this formula that length of arc is equal to r times the angle subtended theta so r into pi by 2 and r is given to be 1 meter therefore it will be equal to pi by 2 meter displacement is equal to the shortest distance between initial and final point so if this was the starting point and this is the final point then this is the shortest distance and because both distances are equal to the radius so we have 1 meter here once again displacement equals to 1 square plus 1 squared and that gives us root 2 meter so these are some of the examples based on distance and displacement try them out and try some examples on your own get this concept down in the next video we will talk about speed and velocity see you